I was about to say, hello everyone, welcome back to the almost last episode of Undertale. And we've made it to Asgore's house. It's been quite a journey, I must say. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Then one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azriel, wrapped with grief, absorbed the human soul, and he transformed into a being with incredible power. <laughs> with the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found the bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home he entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will save us. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will let us go. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free.
sands. What's this? I feel like I'm not supposed to be down here. Oh shit. Well, that's where all the other humans are buried, I guess. <laughs> At least they gave them nice burials. Well. It's the big man, big man, big man, big boy, big boy. <coughs> oh, he's genuinely frightened to see him. I mean, you, you've never been outside, so I, I, I don't understand how, is the light shining through the cave? Is that what that is? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready, Asgore, I'm ready to fight you. Thing is, I'm not going to fight you. I'm a true pacifist. You're not a dentist. Except they don't numb your teeth. You're right. You're right. It is a visit to the dentist. But they don't numb your teeth. Okay. Holy fucking shit. You, you can't walk through that? It just looks like an endless hall. I, I figured you, I, you could walk through that, can't you? I mean, it looks like there's like an end to it, like if you look closely. I 
Man, I gotta say, I'm continuing. Oh, shit, you have, like, six other souls? Bye. Well, buy that. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. Can't do anything about that. Fuck you. It did nothing, but um. I don't care. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. I beat Undertale before I can beat it again. Oh no, this is terrible at 20 HP. Ah! Holy fuck. Shoulda brought... It's good because that attack, you can tell... exactly what he's gonna do. So, just like Toriel's fight, just a lot harder. And these are pretty easy, you just gotta move in the... This is the part I struggle with. Just kill me.
No, 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 no. Oh, no. No.